Hi guys, welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel. I hope you're healthy and doing well. On this channel, we cover the news, facts, and sentiments about the crypto market. We also interview many of the folks who are building and investing in the crypto asset class. I've interviewed Binance's CEO, CZ, uh, Algorand COO. I uploaded that interview yesterday and many others, guys. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, some very big news here. Bitcoin miner, maker ebank officially files for 100 million dollar us ipo this is big um, on multiple fronts first up it talks or speaks to what we've been discussing on this channel for a long time big money is doubling down on bitcoin mining even though the bitcoin having is coming up where the mining rewards is getting cut in half from like 12.5 to like 6.25 the difficulty rate is going to increase um, they're still putting more money and i always tell you guys follow the money and you have companies the mining makers and and some and miners themselves are looking to go public it's actually interesting of what's taking place and they filed you know officially with the sec here it is on the sec's website here you can see uh u.s securities and uh exchange commission commission washington dc and uh ebank international holdings and they're looking to do an ipo here in the u.s and if, if you guys recall um, the world's largest Bitcoin mining farm is being built here in the U.S. in Texas. So it also has investors from out of the country like SBI Holdings, which is massive and works with Ripple and Bullish and XRP and GMO Internet. So we are seeing some interesting investments and doubling down here. Also, you know, we've been covering the news, guys, like I said, with various parts of this country the us and across the world are looking to increase bitcoin mining like nuclear plants looking to uh provide bitcoin mining all kinds of things happening here guys i almost can't keep up and in my interview with cz what did he talk about they are starting a bitcoin mining pool that binance is hiring some of the people from bitmain and they're going to start their bitcoin mining pool follow the money something big is taking place here and the fact that these companies are looking to go public further validates the crypto asset class will get more exposure to the crypto asset class and people will recognize this is a actual you know those who don't understand it yet there's an actual industry here there's the actual technology is here to stay and regardless of how you feel about bitcoin and i've been on record that bitcoin's slow it is costly to use it needs to be improved there's there's scalability issues right but regardless it has a really strong use case of digital gold a hedge against what's happening in the macroeconomic world right now uh, with money printing and so forth so let me give you some more details here guys bitcoin uh, miner ebang has officially filed for us uh, ipo the company is looking to raise up to 100 million dollars by listing its shares either on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ. That's big. That's big, guys. And they won't be the only ones. More mining companies are going to come along and try to do this as well. I believe Bitmain has been trying to do this in Hong Kong to list on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. This is just a sign of the things to come, guys. So uh, as this market matures, this industry grows, you're going to see more IPOs. Even Ripple itself has talked about an IPO. And, uh, you know, eBank International is one of the world's largest Bitcoin mining machines manufacturers has just once again uh, filed for that IPO. eBank is looking to raise $100 million. Um, and the company looks to offload Class A ordinary shares, having a face value of, uh, it looks like Hong Kong dollars here, 0 0.001, which is uh, US 0 0.0013 cents per share. China based eBank intends to list its shares either on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ Global Market under the symbol eBond per the form F1. So once again, this is the form on the SEC's website. So this is why we have to be patient, guys. Let these things grow and you will see the prices on the market go significantly higher. Can I tell you when exactly that's going to happen? No, because no one can predict the future. We can speculate and make some guess, guesses. You know, with the Bitcoin having, I personally believe the bull run is pushed back. We might see it till next year. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it happens this year and, and we make some money, right? But I want to be realistic as well. It's not about my emotions or my personal feelings. It's about trends, what's happening in the world right now with the pandemic and uh, still some regulatory clarity needed here in the U.S., but the institutional investors are coming in. There's move. There's moves being made. I've been sharing a lot of news with you guys. 
partnerships Eris X is doing with Fidelity Digital Assets, new crypto hedge funds that are starting. Guys, a lot of big things, the facts, right? Um, and I, I'm excited about the future of this market. We, we just gotta be patient and hodl. And here we got some news from Ripple um, their spring division, which fosters development on the uh, XRP ledger, uh, facilitates usage of XRP. They also fund a lot of startups and businesses to help push adoption of XRP. So they're doing something pretty cool here, which I think is great. If you're a developer building on the XRP or into ledger, or, or I should say on XRP or into ledger, then we want to showcase your product or app on our new blog series. This is great because if you have these companies that you're investing in and you're getting them to leverage XRP in their ecosystem, you need to highlight and get them more business, right? So you can increase the utility and, and boost the use case around XRP. So they have a full blog post here outlining, you know, the steps, what they're going to do. And, you know, if you're a developer, they said here, if you're a developer that uses XRP Ledger, Interledger, Spring, SDK, XRP API, Ripple, Lib, uh, XRP CLI, or any open source technologies, whatever it may be, they will uh, highlight it here, which once again, great idea. And if Ethereum was doing that or Algorand, as I interviewed yesterday, um, if they were doing the same thing, I mean, I believe they are because they have their foundations, the Ethereum Foundation, the Algorand Foundation, and they help foster growth of the ecosystem. That is important. So I love that they're doing this and helping these companies get visibility. Um, and as I'm showing you here, I'm bullish on Bitcoin, I'm bullish on XRP, Ethereum. We know Ethereum developers are working with the XRP developers to build a XRP Ethereum bridge. I think uh, folks at Ripple recognize the DeFi movement's going to be big and they're tapping into uh, Ethereum there, building a bridge. So uh, great things ahead, guys. And uh, I hope you see what's being built and happening before us. We all want to make money. We want things to go faster than they are, but we got to be patient. And uh, these are the signs of things you need to, you should be looking at, right? Um, it's okay to, you know, I get the price and so forth, but Price will eventually follow the maturation of the market. And when you see things like this are happening, you know big things are ahead. So uh, certainly excited. Guys, what do you think about this news? I think this is big. Uh, what are your thoughts? Leave them in, below in the comment section. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please share this video if you found it helpful. And I will talk to you all later.